fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 14th of February 2025. I hope you are okay. Traffic was horrendous on the way back from uh, work. Uh, I guess it's Valentine's evening traffic. Valentine's Day and a popular day here in Thailand. Uh, a, a country that prides itself on loving people. <laughs> I think I could say that. Uh, and they always, they always make a big fuss on Valentine's Day. Uh, what's going on in the world? You would expect uh, an organization from the United Nations that is called the Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection, Environmental Protection note, to be uh, filled with green groups, wouldn't you? But uh, in fact, you might be surprised or probably not surprised to learn that uh, delegates from the aviation industry outnumber green groups by 10 to 1 at the pre or outnumbered I should say at the previous conference uh, <laughs> 10 to 1 um, and also the International Civil Aviation Organization has been sponsored meetings and uh, um, spon uh, meetings have been sponsored by uh, large fossil fuel companies and uh, so again these fossil fuel companies are really much like the tobacco companies were in the days when they were denying um, that tobacco caused lung cancer. <clears throat> they were doing all kinds of things behind the scenes to make sure that uh, they got their way. And it seems the fossil fuel company, fossil fuel uh, industry, big, big, big fuel, should we call that, or whatever you call them, fossil fuel industry is really doing everything behind the scenes to make sure it gets its way and we all die much quicker than need than we need to okay shall we get on with the game of sudoku so this is my supplementary puzzle for this evening and this is the los angeles times hard level sudoku puzzle i played the expert earlier today sometimes this one is harder than the uh, uh, expert level it's just sometimes not always <clears throat> And as soon as I can see something, I will let you know what I can see. And when I say see something, I mean an actual digit that I could place, as opposed to all kinds of other things that I see. Ah, I've got something. Two blocks up here and up here and across there so we'll get started with two Uh, I think I may have got something. We've got seven blocking this square and seven blocking this square. So you will agree, I hope, that in this column, seven must occupy one of these two squares here, right? And we've got seven blocking down here, so seven is in either of those squares there. So we've got sevens like this. So in this particular section here, we can only look for seven in the top row of this uh, bottom shoot here. And we've got a seven blocking, so we can say that that is a seven like so now we've got three and six blocking down here so that means that's a pair of three and six in those squares and the others are not three or six they must be two four and five and we've got two and five together so we'll get a four in that square there
Uh, okay, I don't know what I've got. So let me just draw in a few blue squares, I think, to help as I go around looking for stuff. Okay, three is in one of these squares. We had the six and three blocking down here, so three is in one of those squares. They're blocking up, blocking down here, and three across there. <coughs> Excuse me. Six up here, six across there, there's a six. Six up here, up there, and six across. This way, this way. Okay, five across there. <coughs> Excuse me, five there now.
Okay, missing digits here are 2, 3 and 9. We've got 3 and 9 in the same column. So that will be a 2. Uh, okay, we've got <clears throat> 9 blocking up here, so 9 in one of those squares blocking down, and then we've got 9 as one of our missing digits here blocking across. That'll be a 9. We've got 1 up here, 1 down there, and there's a 1. Like so, 1 across here, 1 across there, and 1 down there. 5 blocking this square here, so that's a 5 in this row back here for the 4. Four and five both block this square. That puts four and five up there and gives me a two here. Two blocking up and across and across means that's a two. Four blocks across here. There's a four. This would be seven. 7 across here gives me 7 in that square there. The missing numbers here are 6 and 9, I think. 9 blocking up there. There's our 9. There's our 6. nine blocking these squares or if you prefer nine going up there if you like because it's easier to see it like that nine across here and nine up there gives me nine in that square uh, i did say this was four and five and so this is going to be eight Four across here and there and four down here. Six up and six across there and there. Okay, and we don't have any completed digits yet. Let's see what we're missing down on the bottom here. This is going to be 6 and 7, I think. So, uh, yeah, so when we have the 1 blocking down here and across there, that's going to give me 1 in that square. And we'll be left with 1s like this. Uh, now, if this is uh, 6 and 7 I think I said this is not going to be 6 or 7 it's going to be 3 and 8 any help on 3 or 8 answer no we know that's 3 8 as well
Okay, three across here and across there. And then three down here, down there. There's a three. And I did say that this was six and seven, and so this is going to be eight. Eight blocking across here and across there means that's an eight, and then eight to the top and across there gives me an eight here. And it looks like eight is going to be the first one to suffer. Yes, that's the end of digit eight. Missing number up here is six, no, not six, is seven, I think. Seven across there, across there, and up here. There's a seven. Oh, the cat's meowing. I uh, want some attention since I've been out. Five blocks this square, so in the top row there's a five. This will be a four. Still four needed for this row here. Four blocking across here gives the four in that square, and this is a five. Five across here, five up there. There is our five. One blocks across here, there's a one, and the missing number here is nine. Nine blocking down gives me nine in this square. Missing number here is three. And we've got one empty square here. We can fill that with five. And five blocking across and down here puts five into this square. That was six and three, if I remember rightly. Yes, I did remember rightly. That's a two then. And so two across here and two down there. There's two. Funny how I can remember some things, but not others. <laughs> it's quite weird that. Um, this is a three. Three back that way. There's our three. This will be six. Six blocking here, there's a six, the last number to go. There is a seven, seven across there, there's seven. And one here finishes the game. So that's our Los Angeles Times hard level Sudoku puzzle over and out for Friday the 14th of February. Take care, bye bye, I'll see you over the weekend.